What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we have an interesting one. So I'm going to be sharing my advice when it comes to either getting ethical pen testing, hacking gadgets, or just using Kali Linux. And I want to make this video to help you pick what device that you should get, where you should start, and uh, depending on where you are in your cybersecurity field, or if you're advanced or a beginner, what you should you get. So if you're somebody new, the number one device I recommend for getting somebody that's new, and hopefully by the time you watch this, this device will be out. So this is a prototype. This is the BLE Shark Nano. I have plenty of videos of this on the device of, of this device on my channel. Um, this is a multi-tool, so just like a Flipper Zero. If you don't know what a Flipper Zero is, or you don't know what this tool is, it's basically a hacking multi-tool type pen, Wi-Fi pen testing, infrared, uh, bad Bluetooth. Um, this thing has games, so it has other apps and tools in here. But nevertheless, it's a multi-tool that has multiple pen testing functionalities. So this device is a quarter of the price of Flipper Zero. So this thing under it's under like forty dollars USD. Um, a Flipper Zero is over $200, and if you live somewhere else in the world, it's probably even more than that. So regardless, the multi-tool, so this would be a multi-tool, the M5 would be multi-tool, the Liligo, T-enabled is a multi-tool, um, uh, this is a multi-tool, the Flipper Zero. So I, these multi-tools are great for hands-on learning. So if you're a beginner, Kali Linux is very intimidating. Even for me, I'm still learning Kali Linux, but... As I grow in my cybersecurity, as I use these gadgets, I realize that Kali Linux has a lot of these tools already built in. I have videos where I do Wi-Fi pen testing, deauthentication attacks using uh, just this Wi-Fi adapter and this computer. And uh, it's, it does the same thing as this device or the other device where it deauthenticates uh, devices on my network. So you don't necessarily need to have these devices to do Wi-Fi pen testing or do anything for that matter. There's a lot of tools available with Kali, and it's been around for so long. I mean, I think this thing has over 600 tools already built into it. That said, like depending on where you are, what your goal is to learn Linux. I mean, it's going to be a very useful tool for you. Um, learning the tools available with Kali is probably like the number one thing you should do. But if you're a beginner, and if you're someone like me, the, the hacking gadgets are just great. And getting something like the BLE Shark Nano, like this thing's super easy. Like you don't even need to flash firmware onto this thing. You just turn it on, you connect it to Wi-Fi, and it does all the work for you. So I have videos on my, on my channel showing you how easy it is to set up and maintain this device. I recommend this being maybe your first hacking gadget you buy. Um, back in the day, my first hacking gadget was the Dauthor Watch, but that's all it does. So I would recommend getting a tool that does more than just Wi-Fi pen testing. This thing does the deauthentication attacks, but this can do a lot more. And believe it or not, that was way more money than this. I, I think that's double the price of this thing. So what I've learned is that these cheap multi-tools um, are really good to have for beginners. I mean, this device right here has the Bruce firmware on it, just like the T-enabled. Um, this thing is like a multi-tool. I'm going to show you Bruce. This is a third-party firmware on this device. So this makes it like a mini Flipper Zero 2. So as you see here, it has a whole bunch of pen testing stuff already built in. And this is, again, I think $30 to $40 as well. So you don't necessarily need to buy a Flipper Zero. So that's another point I want to make. So Flipper Zero is well known. I believe the Flipper Zero 1 or 2 is coming out, wherever they're going to be naming it. That's something I'm going to be getting on this channel. But there's other options out there for much cheaper and much more accessible. And if you're a beginner, you don't want to spend tons of money on these gadgets. Like the Wi-Fi Pineapple up there. That thing is like two to three hundred dollars. I mean, these Wi-Fi adapters can get pretty pricey too. I think that Alpha adapter is like eighty dollars. Um, this one's like sixty. Um, I took the case off this one because that was for another project. That you, you, if you're already a part of the channel, subscribe. You already know about the project I use for that. But I like leaving it naked anyway because it's thin and it actually looks cool. And I think I broke the case anyway. But regardless, you don't need to buy a Flipper Zero. So that's something I want to get off. The, just to let you know, heads up. You don't need one. Should you get one? Yes, eventually you should get one. Um, the multi-tools are great, again, because you get a lot of bang for your buck. But there's something said about buying dedicated tools. So, like, this right here is the Diabolic Drive. This is a very cool, dangerous USB where you plug this into a computer and you can send payloads over a Wi-Fi connection. Um, and... I just want one video where I don't drop something. Just one. Anyway... So the Diabolic Drive is like a, a next generation bad USB. It has a lot of stealth tech built into it where I can plug this into the computer and it makes the computer think it's just a flash drive that you could store stuff on. But with a flick of the switch, the thing comes, turns into a pen testing device. 
So this is dedicated. So this isn't a multi-tool. This does one thing really well. So like there's something said about buying tools that are dedicated to do one thing. But there's also another thing said about buying devices that are uh, multi-tools, especially if you're a beginner. Multi-tools are great because you can do multiple things and you can get your hands on and learn right off the bat. Like you can actually see real world situations like, oh, wow, this I didn't know that this was a vulnerability. Since you have these multi-tools, you can find out more of those vulnerabilities, actually test them for yourself. Then you have projects like the uh, Pondagachi here. Uh, you, this, is like, this is a next like level two project you can do because it's not something that you just you can buy. Um, you have to put this thing together. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero W with a sugar battery and an ink screen. And I have videos on how to build one of these devices. This is like an AI Wi-Fi hacking tool. Um, this is a good project because it, it's something you have to build yourself. And once you build it, it's such a rewarding feeling. And you have this really cool pen testing gadget that you can just basically eat Wi-Fi networks and gather the information just by turning the switch on. So, again, ethical purposes only. Make sure you're in controlled environments. But, that, there's like, there's other levels. So I recommend, like, projects like this for, like, level two. Um, somebody that already has a couple of these gadgets underneath your belt. Um, I recommend getting something like this because the projects help you learn. Like it's great. I broke this thing so many times that I, it took me a while. The first, my first uh, Ponagachi, I couldn't get the screen to work. But over time, I figured it out what the mistake was. I actually, I think because I bought the wrong version of screen at the time. But the stuff I learned. There's nothing wrong about learning and breaking things and failing because that's you learn from that stuff. So to get back to what you should get i highly recommend getting multi-tools as your first device the cheaper multi-tools like the ble shark nano the m2 or the t enabled that is a really cool device because it literally looks like a flipper zero and it has a lot of capabilities just like a flipper zero as well for a fraction of the price so i mean it's not as great I and mean, it's not as tested but this is these are new devices that are coming out to compete with the flipper zero so and it's a lot cheaper so i recommend you getting that first level two projects and then getting into Cali. So, but Cali, if you can learn Cali and get comfortable with Cali right off the rip, that is very good for you because you're going to be learning. I, I, what I'm learning is that I'm starting to gravitate more toward Cali Linux because this just has everything ready to go for me. And uh, the tools that are come available with this are like unmatched. So like this thing is like the, the multi-tool of multi-tools if you know what you're doing. The one thing I would invest in is a good Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitoring mode. So you can use like Wireshark and use Aragedon or uh, uh, whatever other pen testing, Wi-Fi pen testing you want to do. Um, even if you want to do Bluetooth pen testing, you can buy social adapters for that as well. So this... It, Cali is great because of that. Like you can have, you have over like 600 tools accessible to you and you're learning Linux. So like somebody that's used Windows for most of their life, I mean, I touched on Linux here and there. It gets you hands-on on how to use it and how to install packages. And it gives you like, it, it's a great learning experience because like every time you touch on this device, you're learning something. So you're getting out of that Windows norm. Um, you're getting out of, you may be using Mac. I'm starting, I just got a Mac recently myself. And that's basically like Linux, but it's really good to learn Linux because a lot of stuff in the world uses it and it's great for pen testing and uh, definitely for cybersecurity because a lot of these distros have so many tools built into it, like Parrot Security, Black Arch. And by the way, Cali's not the only one. That's not something else I've learned too. There's other cybersecurity based OSs out there and those are the three, I think, main ones. It was Cali Linux, Parrot Security... And uh, Black Arch is really cool. And I'm probably forgetting a couple other ones, but I think those are the main ones. And if you're someone like me that likes privacy, you have Cubes Linux, uh, Linux and uh, my favorite is Tails, hands down. So I have videos about Tails Linux on my channel. But if you're looking for more privacy-oriented stuff, like myself, um, I like Tails. And then um, if you want for pen testing, Kali just works. And it just it works with adapters. It just it always it plays nice. The other operating systems are sometimes buggy and maybe somebody in the, the the chat i'm not chat somebody in the comments can verify what i'm saying i just find cali great because it just works with a lot of stuff it just plays nice it's predictable and there's such a good community around it while the other os's have great communities and they're great i just find them buggy to use sometimes or they don't work right and you get you get stuck like if you just want if you especially for learning you don't want to get discouraged you want to find easy stuff, like stuff that you know that won't fail and has a good uh, community behind it to help make you feel more comfortable. 
So I highly recommend Cali, and it's free. Like you can download this stuff for Cali for free, get a junk laptop, boot off of the flash drive. Um, you don't even need to download it to your computer. Like great tool. So if you're a beginner, this is free. Cali Linux is free. Get, a, get an old computer or just boot off the flash drive so you don't mess up the computer you already have. Familiarize yourself with Kali and Linux. It's it, it only going to help you later on down the road. And as I'm growing, so the one thing point I can make is that all these devices, I can do pretty much anything with this. Like everything here, I can do on, on this thing. And this is for free. It's a little bit more complex and confusing. These are great for beginner, hands-on learning and just I'm pen testing on the go. But... You don't need this. You can get away with just this. And and that's pretty much it. So I, I didn't mean like this video is kind of like lax, but my, a lot of my YouTube videos that did really well on my channels are just me talking and going on rants. What, this is what I've learned so far. So Kali Linux is great. I highly recommend you getting familiarized with Kali Linux. Get these hacking multi-tools. These are great beginner devices. The BLE Shark Nano is my favorite beginner friendly device because you don't even need the flash firmware on it it just it, you plug, it's basically like it's almost like a plug and play device and this is just the prototype the real one that's coming out in a couple months from now is going to blow other things out of, like out of the water like it's just it's just so it ha, it's such a great bang for the buck and it's so it's going to be so accessible and just the ease of use like this this firmware is insane like it's the probably some of the best i've i've used so yeah, I mean, and I mean that for my subscribers. Like, I want to find easy things for you guys to get comfortable with cybersecurity because it, it's it's scary for me too. Like, I'm trying to teach myself too, and as I'm learning, I'm just wanted to share share with you guys, and this will can help you feel comfortable and confident, and you can move on to bigger and better things. So, if I was you, the first device to get for a beginner would be this one. I would, I would, uh, I would the uh, M5 and the the Lily Go. You would have to flash firmware on it to make it even close to a Flipper Zero. So it's a little bit of a project, but it's definitely doable and not that scary. I have videos on my channel on how to do that. That would be probably the next step. And buying the really expensive stuff like the Wi-Fi Pineapple here, these Wi-Fi adapters, and the and the um, Flipper Zero would probably be like the third step because it's, it's good to have these devices because they're so well tested and so useful, especially the Wi-Fi Pineapple, but they talk about big money. And then uh, like these projects like the Ponagachi there, I got two of them over there. That's a great project for later on. Again, build your confidence with this stuff first and then move on to that. I like these simple gadgets. I really do. Um, I, I really, rarely use my Flipper Zero now because I like using this other stuff more. But Cali has so much, and especially with the Wi-Fi t pen testing videos I made. I could check them, most of them out on Rumble because YouTube doesn't allow me, doesn't like when I post that kind of stuff. This just works. I mean, and I'm, I'm telling you, like, learn this stuff and it's free like it's just it's just free again be careful what you do always do stuff ethically i'm I'm just this is me just doing cybersecurity stuff and i'm learning this is how i learn so i'm very hands-on type of learning um definitely recommend that even buying a raspberry pi 5 so this is a raspberry pi 5 that i plug into a monitor keyboard um it was like a laptop like these are good projects to get on later on so start with the simple multi-tools graduate to the more expensive devices eventually you don't mean you but again you don't necessarily need any of this you can do 90 percent of this stuff with cali and uh, any other um security based linux um operating system so the interest in the flipper zero killers this year 2025 is all about the flipper zero killers go ahead and check out that video and i'm really excited for the full release of ble shark nano guys so let me know what you you think in the comments um what are your opinions on all this and what do you think uh do you agree with me um are you new in cybersecurity or are you are you curious about this hacking gadget stuff and uh you have any questions or um i i have over 500 videos on my channel either describing these devices or doing stuff with these devices and even how to set up cali so there's tons of information on my channel so if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button go check out those videos so there's a there maybe maybe i made a video already answering your question thank you very much for watching remember safety is an illusion i'll see you guys in the next video